Hi to all, welcome to my class number 4, Simple Equations. In this class, I am going to discuss solving an equation. Consider an expression 3x. I want to separate x alone. What should I do? If I add plus 3, will, I, will x be separated? If I subtract 3, will I get the value of x? What will happen if I multiply by 3? You will get a 9x. What will happen if I divide it by 3? Yes, here 3, 3 one times you will get the values of x. Consider an equation 3x is equal to 12. What will be your first step to separate the variable x? Yes, you have to divide by 3. This step you can write it as divide both sides by 3. Now, what will you get if you divide both sides by 3? That is 3s by 3 is equal to 12 by 3. You will get 3s by 3 is equal to x, 12 by 3 is equal to 4. So, x is equal to 4 is the solution. So, you can write the steps and solution as divide both sides by 3, x is equal to 4. Consider another equation, x by 4 is equal to 2. What will be your first step to separate x? Since it is divided by 4, you have to multiply by 4 both sides. So, you can write as x by 4 into 4 is equal to 2 into 4. That is, x is equal to 8. So, you can write the step as multiply both sides by 4 x is equal to 8. Here is a question for you. Give the first step you will use to separate the variable and solve the equation. Do yourself. Look at question number f. z by 3 is equal to 5 by 4. You want to separate z. So what will you do? Do multiply 3 both sides. So you can write z by 3 into 3 is equal to 5 by 4 into 3. That you will get there. Z is equal to 5 into 3 is equal to 15. So 15 by 4. Here is your answers. Do verify yourself. Consider another equation. 3 minus 5 is equal to 7. Now to separate m. What are the steps you have to follow? First, you have to remove minus 5 from here. To that, what will you do? Yes, you, the step 1 is you add 5 to both sides. That is 3m minus 5 plus 5 is equal to 7 plus 5. Now minus 5 plus 5, it will be 0. So you can write 3m is equal to 7 plus 5, 12. Now to separate m, what will be your next step? Yes, it is. Divide both sides by 3. Since it is 3m, 3 into m, by dividing 3, m will be separated. So, you can write 3m by 3 is equal to 12 by 3. That is, 3m by 3, 3, 3 cancel, you will get m, and 12 by 3 is equal to 4. Therefore, the conclusion you can write it as, Step 1, add 5 to both sides. Step 2, divide both sides by 3 and m is equal to 4. Here is your next question. Give the steps you will use to separate the variable and then solve the equation. Here, for a and b, you have two steps. Whereas, sorry, a, b, c and d having two steps and find out the value of the variable. How will you solve this equation? 6p minus 30 is equal to 8. First you have to remove minus 30. For that you have to add 30 to both sides. So you can write 6p minus 30 plus 30 is equal to 18 plus 30. 6p minus 30 plus 30 is 0. So 6p is equal to 18 plus 30 is equal to 48. Now you have to separate p. 
dividing both sides by 6 you will get 6p by 6 is equal to 48 by 6 6 6 cancel so you will get p is equal to 48 by 6 is equal to 8 so p is equal to 8 is the solution here you have question number 4 solve the following equations do it yourself look at question number b negative p by 3 is equal to 5 to get p first step we have to multiply 3 both sides so you get minus p by 3 into 3 is equal to 5 into 3 that you will get it as 3 3 cancel so minus p is equal to 50 but you want to get the value of p what is minus p actually minus p means minus 1 into p so here you have to divide both sides by negative 1 that is negative p by negative 1 is equal to 15 by negative 1 negative p by negative 1 same sign so you will get p and 15 by negative 1 is equal to negative 15 so the value solution is p is equal to negative 15 here are the answers for question number 3 and question number 4 do verify yourself that's all for today's class have a nice day